Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about requirements, elicitation and analysis. Requirements engineering process is used in order to develop an SRS document. An SRS document will contain sophisticated and descriptive requirements which are to be uh, followed by the developers. It has four sub-processes. First would be the feasibility report followed by requirements elicitation and analysis and then requirements validation and requirements management. This is a diagram of our requirements engineering process. We are going to be studying about requirements elicitation which is this part of our diagram in this video. And requirements elicitation is the process of finding the requirements of an intended software system by communicating with all the people who will be involved with the system. Which will they are include the client end users, system users and other stakeholders. Analysis results in a model that the developers can unambiguously interpret. In order for developers to have a clear idea of all the requirements, there are some expected uh, norm, norms to be followed by the requirements, which are that requirements are supposed to be unambiguous, complete, verifiable, consistent, modifiable, traceable and coherent. These are just some of the expectations of our requirements. Let's look at the software. Uh, let Let's look at the requirements elicitation and analysis process. The first step is requirements discovery, in which you find out all the requirements from uh, users, and then the requirements classification and organization, where the requirements are classified according to the category which they belong to, and then the requirements prioritization and negotiation, where the requirements are prioritized and given importance and according to it they are implemented and then the requirements documentation so that you can use it in the future for reference and then you might find some ex other uh, requirements which have not been discovered in the previous cycle so here the requirement discovery is done again and the requirement classification organization is also done again this process uh, this entire cycle is repeated multiple times in order to get a refined set of requirements. Requirements discovery. Over here the developers will discuss with the client and end users and note their expectations from the software. Organizing requirements. The developers will prioritize and arrange requirements in order of their importance, urgency and convenience. Requirements prioritization and negotiation. Requirements may then be prioritized and reasonably compromised. Some requirements may clash with each other and such requirements may be uh, given priority according to which one is more important and which one you want, which one is needed and which one you would prefer. And then the documentation. All formal and informal functional and non-functional requirements are documented and made available for the next phase of processing. Requirements elicitation techniques. There are different requirements elicitation techniques. First one, we'll look at viewpoints. There are many viewpoints, which will be direct, indirect, domain viewpoints. First one, direct viewpoint is the one where the interactor will uh, give the requirements. Interactors are those people who will uh, directly interact with the system, finally. And then there are indirect viewpoints, which will represent the stakeholders who don't use the system themselves, but will influence the requirements in some way. Followed by the domain viewpoints, they will represent the domain characteristics and constraints that influence the system requirements. Like uh, there might be a previous system which you are trying to replace and some changes are to be made or otherwise there had not been a system which it was manual before and you are now replacing it with a system. So accordingly you can look at the different viewpoints and get to a conclusion of uh, all the important ones which are to be included and then come the interviews interviews are a strong medium to collect requirements organization may conduct several types of interviews like uh, they may be oral interviews written interviews one-to-one -one interview interviews or group interviews they are mainly categorized as structured or closed interviews and the non-structured or open interviews the structured ones are those in which the engineer uh, will look for a predefined set of questions. It is, uh, it'll, they'll try to uh, get the user to answer such questions. It's goal-oriented and systematic. 
the non structured or open interviews are those which don't have a fixed agenda and are used to obtain a broad view they're more uh, flexible they're, and less biased then come the scenarios scenarios are stories which explain how a system might be used they should include a description of the system state before entering the scenario and normal flow of events in the scenario exceptions to the normal flow of events and information about parallel activities a description of the system state at the end of the scenario and then uh, come the use cases use cases are scenario based technique in the uml which identify the actors in an interaction and which describe the interaction itself see these are the actors for example in an lrc library system the faculty and the student would be actors and also the librarian would be an actor they will interact with the system in different ways a set of use cases should describe all possible interactions with the system sequence diagrams may be used to add detail to use cases by showing the sequence of event processing in the system we can use some other processes in order to obtain our requirements such as surveys questionnaires task analysis domain analysis brainstorming prototyping observation and ethnography so these are just some of the ways in order to find out the requirements and gather all your requirements and so that the developer can use them in order to get a good idea of all the requirements and include them accordingly into the system so this has been uh, about the requirements illustration and analysis thank you for watching